Jason Lee's apparently been to one of Diddy's parties, and you won't believe what he saw there. There has been talk about Diddy's freak-offs and what went down there, but now we're getting all the tea from someone who experienced it firsthand, and it's messy. Look at what's happening to Diddy right now. Mm. I'm not saying Diddy did it. I'm not saying Diddy, uh, Diddy didn't do it. And I'm not going to say no Diddy. If you've been plugged into the latest Hollywood drama, you know Jason Lee is always stirring the pot. But this time, he's got some serious ammo that could shake Diddy's legacy to its core. Jason's reputation precedes him. He's like the Pied Piper of juicy scandals, leading us down the rabbit hole of Hollywood drama. From dropping bombs on A-list celebs out rap royalty he's fearless and now his crosshairs are locked onto diddy on the recent episode of funky friday with cam newton jason lee spilled some major tea about his relationship with diddy he dished about attending parties at diddy's crib and having a few run-ins with the man himself but when it comes to what's going down with diddy now jason's got some thoughts inspiring kids everywhere we go all over the world people know him and are inspired by him but to vilify him or make a mockery out of him or to do this and that i'm like yo there has to be a platform that has a little bit more responsibility. You can still be critical, but you gotta be fair. He's not out here saying Diddy did it or didn't do what he's accused of, but Jason's pointing out how we can sometimes tear each other down faster than anyone else. We cannibalize our own more than they do. We'll cancel us before before they do, and we will make ourselves the laughing stock, not understanding we're really li doing the layup for it to happen to somebody else, right? Remember when Kanye got canceled for speaking his mind? Oh, when Kanye got canceled for doing what he did, and what he did was very reckless in how he decided to articulate his thoughts. But then you saw how easy it was for people to try to go after and kill Kyrie for retweeting something that existed on Jeff Bezos' website. Jason's all about being fair and even-handed in how we handle stuff. He's about keeping it real and protecting the culture. That's why he trademarked culture critic. I look at it like, again, you know, being a culture critic, you have a responsibility to the culture while being critic critical to also protect it. But let's get into what's happening with Diddy. Jason's seen the good and the bad sides of him. He's not besties with Diddy, but they've crossed paths. I don't have a friendship with Diddy. He's not my friend. We don't hang out. We've texted a few times. I was on his network. I've been to many of his house parties. But how has he been to his parties? Yet he's claiming they're not friends. Seems a little suspicious, right? Then he goes on to explain how he's seen Diddy's generosity firsthand and the way he inspires people around the world. Okay, on one hand, cultural icon. He's done a lot for music, fashion, culture. He has a school, had a school network ownership, one of the few black owners of a network. But there's also the other stuff. As a human being, he's had lots of conflict. He had Tupac's death, Biggie's death, all the drama. We had the shooting with J-Lo, Shine went to prison. Maybe he shouldn't have went to prison. There's always been these stories about Diddy being evil. I've heard he was the devil. I there's no doubt that there's always been talk about Diddy being shady, even threats being thrown around. And even Jason himself experienced that. He was taking a pick at Diddy's house when things got tense for a second. Well, I heard he was evil. He even once threatened me. But I don't know if it was or Ciroc or if the... Now, with all the drama surrounding Diddy, it's got Jason thinking. I think with Diddy, what we're watching is we live in an era where celebrities got to be careful and got to got to be fearful at all times because all I got to do is put everything I want to say about you in a lawsuit. Let TMZ or Hollywood unlock for anybody run the lawsuit. See, Jason is not jumping to any conclusions, but he's also not turning a blind eye. So I'm not saying that Diddy didn't do it or he did do it. I think if he goes through his process like R. Kelly did, but we saw the R. Kelly tape, so we knew he did that. And if Diddy's guilty, he's all about locking him up. But anyway, with Diddy, we didn't see all this stuff. I saw him and Cassie embracing each other, dancing and, you know, whatever. Um, and then she said what she said. We, we don't know if it happened or didn't happen. We know she got a bag. We don't know how much. And then that opened the floodgates to dogpile on Diddy. And Diddy's lost it all. He's lost the school that was helping black kids. Especially after the whole raid. He's seen Diddy's kids caught up in handcuffs. And it's got him questioning what's really going on. Because at the end of the day, those are some good kids. Those are those are really good kids. And I'm gonna call them kids even though they grown, but they're really good people. To see them in handcuffs like that, I ain't gonna lie. Turns out, this is where Jason draws the line. If Diddy involved his kids in any of his shady dealings, that's messed up and pretty much unforgivable. You can be evil. You can be pure evil. You could be a thief in publishing. You can be all these things. But that doesn't mean that you got your kids who are good kids out going to find young teenagers to bring back and have sex with. But at the end of the day, he's not Team Diddy. And if there's evidence of wrongdoing, then yeah, there should be consequences. What's going on on both sides? And I'm not a Diddy defender. Let me be very clear. If he did it, he should go to prison. You know, everybody that I've talked to says something about Diddy. He's evil. He's this.
However, his words aren't sitting right with everyone. Yep, there are fans calling him out for being on Diddy's side and calling the whole interview a bunch of lies. One said, Jason Lee, half the stuff he says is 100% BS, and the other half he was a willing participant. Wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. And, Jason will say whatever depending on what time it is and how hot the spot is or isn't. So, Jason might be lying to protect Diddy, or he's simply speaking the truth as he knows it. We'll have to wait and see whether Diddy faces the consequences he deserves.